Hey everybody, I am making a roasted chicken in the oven with potatoes, carrots, onions, celery, and this is the first time I've tried a um, like homestead chicken. We bought it from the farmer's market yesterday, so I'm just going to go through and show you guys what all I'm going to put in it, and then I'll let you know how it tastes. I'm going to switch you around where you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna rub the skin with uh, about a two thirds a cup of butter. I'm gonna put some Redmond organic season salt on it, a little chili powder, onion powder, thyme, lemon and pepper seasoning. It looks like I emptied the whole cabinet. Smoked paprika, black pepper, a little sea salt for the coarseness, and then also some iodized salt. And then this is what the chicken looks like. It's uh, five and a half pounds. And we'll get that opened, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the Trilogy. And I'll leave my vegetables pretty chunky. I want this to be pretty hearty. And then I'm just going to cut up a couple of potatoes and add to that. I'm going to sit you guys down while I get started on this. I'm heating my oven to 275 degrees. I will cook it with the lid out for about three and a half hours, and then the last hour I'll turn it up to 350. So it'll have a total of four and a half hours, but it'll be a really slow cook. Are you going to help cook, sweetheart? You want a little carrot? I know some people wash their meat before they put it in to cook. We've never done that, so we're not doing that today. The main reason I'm being so slow about it is there's a lot of juice in it and I don't want the juice all over the countertop. bleach the countertop after I get done with this. Nothing inside. Let's stuff it with a couple of cloves of onion. That just reminded me I didn't have any garlic. We're going to wash our hands and get the garlic out of the refrigerator.
heavy teaspoon of minced garlic. And you're really supposed to cook these breast side down. So I'm gonna have to flip that over. I've got it breast side up, but let me go ahead and put some butter on it first and season it and then we'll flip it. So we're just gonna go through all the seasonings here. I don't know why I've got two kinds of salt. One's coarse, one's not, it's all good. hoping this is good. I'd like to go to more local sourced meat. Supporting our local economy. We have hens that lay eggs, but we don't have any hens that we are raising as meat birds. softened to my butter. So we're going to just put a couple of pats on that and give it a flip. That way those are down in the bottom with it. Okay. And rinse and repeat. Side. We don't need any additional garlic. Let's just go ahead and put this butter on there. Put some in his wings. Up his butt. It's a pretty chicken. And again, that was about two thirds of a stick of butter. Softened. Looks like they left uh, most of the neck on. We'll just go through all of our seasonings to this side. Salt, coarse salt, black pepper, lemon and pepper seasoning, smoked paprika, trying to finish up a lot of these little small containers that had only a little bit left in them. Let's just get those cleaned out of the cabinet. I really need to go through my spice cabinet. Maybe there'll be another, another video later. I'm trying to switch over to Azure Standard for all of my spices. But budget-wise, I'm just trying to do one or two you know, three pound packs of things at a time. I've got the beef broth, um, onion soup mix, and I think this will all marry quite well, the carrots and the potatoes, and which we won't eat the onion or the celery, but it makes for a really good broth. Okay, the last thing I'm going to add is Colavita white wine vinegar. It looks like it's um, 25 milliliters. And I just had this left over from one of those um, meal kits that you can order and have delivered. Found it in the cabinet while I was cleaning out the cabinet, so we're just going to add that in there. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to put the top on it. Oh, actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave it off. All right, Miss Maggie. This is where I need to step in, okay? Set the cooking time for 16. Let's just 
do 180 minutes first, which is three hours. And we'll check on it after three hours is up. I've got a meat thermometer that I can check the temperature. mark this is what the chicken looks like it needs quite a bit more cooking so I can tell just by looking at it we're gonna go ahead and bump the oven up to 350 and put it in for another hour We've been in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check the chicken. Just, I did put the lid on it as well, just to see what it looks like. Looks gorgeous. There it is. Okay, we're at 170 degrees in the dark meat. So we're gonna turn this off. Let it set with the lid on it. We're gonna bump the oven up to 400 and cook a pan of cornbread. <laughs> 